Welcome back for the fourth and final portion of the Random Act of Kindness video. Everything that Peter Brewer sent me from Sydney, Australia, all the way up to Canada, the other end of the world, we are looking at a 48 car and a 24 car carrying case, absolutely filled with awesome Yatming cars, play art, and potentially a few other brands I'm not completely familiar with yet. As we get into this video, we are going to discover everything that's in here and see what is what. So much cool stuff to look at. But first thing I noticed was a lot of really nice vintage Yatming cars. And I have been collecting vintage Yatming since I was a child. So that's like over 30 years. Here's a card back from a multi-car collection pack. Uh, with my original checklist as a boy, all the cars I wanted back then, and certainly many more of those I wanted as well. But now, finally, they are mostly in my collection. Not every paint job, but I do have a wide variety of Yatman cars already in my collection. And it's so nice to get a whole bunch more to put into this collection and see what differences there are. There's just so many cool cars, and these things are built with very high quality metal bodies, metal bases, Many of them having opening doors, pretty much all of them having suspension, and a lot of very cool, iconic American designs, European designs, Ch uh, Japanese designs, and Chinese designs in here. Some really cool cars. Uh, Yat, the portion in the name Yat Ming, stands for best or number one, and I have to say, they definitely were one of the number one cars I enjoyed collecting as a youngster. It was just kind of tough to find them as they were phasing out in their lifespan between 1970 and 2013, um, they also went through several name changes, including Road Champs back in the 1980s. All the same, very cool cars, whether they had plastic bases or metal. Some do have plastic bases. Those are the newer ones. We're going to look at each car one at a time and just kind of uh, just a quick look at everything. All right, let's get into the video. So much to look at. This is going to be a long one. But you know what? We're finishing off the end of uh, era, in a way. Because uh, Peter has said this is the final Random Act of Kindness video he is uh, supporting here. Uh, he has supported so many videos over the years by giving up so much of his collection, uh, donating it to the channel for review here for everyone to enjoy. And I certainly hope that, Peter, you are enjoying watching your vehicles be reviewed and uh, welcomed into a new collector's hands, that being mine, and certainly very appreciative. I certainly can't thank you enough. I do not have this Jeep with this paint job in my collection formerly, and it is absolutely amazing. We've got this military-style Jeep CJ. Uh, they have suspension, opening hood, detailed metal engine, Yatming CJ7. I'm not going to go through all of the details as far as the collector numbers on the bases and whatnot, because it's just going to take way too long to get through the video. But we're just going to look at a smattering of all the vehicles. It appears that we have a Datsun truck here, I think, or maybe a Chevy Love. Uh, they don't always tell you on the base what you're looking at, what kind of vehicle you have. Uh, in this case, again, it doesn't. But I think this is a Chevy Love. It looks like a Chevy bow tie, and it's a, definitely a smaller truck. Uh, we're struggling with the folks a little bit, but uh, we'll get that figured out in a moment. So. Have some patience. The boom car. I think this is a Chevy Citation. I'm not quite 100% sure, but it's a common Yatming car. Oh, did I just do that? Sorry. Uh, anyways, it's a common car. These things are highly resilient. I do have a couple of these cars in my collection, and you'll notice that there's wheel variations as well. Um, these are like the Road Champ style wheels, so around the mid-80s. Yatming and Road Champs, you can find either or. And look at there's an interior difference. We've got the pale interior plastic and the darker yellow plastic. So we could go on and on, never mind all the paint variations uh, Yatming has produced for these cars over the years. It's just a small amount of paint variations that exist for the Chevy Citation. Truly, this is one of my favorite castings from Yatming. Just such an interesting little car. I absolutely love it. It's going to be hard not to get bogged down here looking at everything because I absolutely love these cars and the proportions are so well done. I have to really say that Yatming did an amazing job 
getting the proportions of these vehicles just right in whatever scale that they end up choosing, which I think is approximately 164 scale for the majority of them. Not all cars, I'm just going to pick one up here, are uh, that scale. So you've got a big American car. In this way, that they, they kind of seem like matchbox because they're all kind of the same and will fit the same sort of container. But overall, a lot of the cars are really well scaled to each other. So here we have a Datsun 280Z with opening doors. And I will not be opening up all the doors on everything. The interiors can be a little bit crude as far as the quality of the steering wheels and that sort of thing. But when you look at the rest of it, the seat buckets, it's just really clever, like really nice looking models. So I'm reaching far and wide here to get these uh, cars out of the trays, but it is worthwhile. Here we have a beautiful Mercedes-Benz um, Team 87, it says on the hood. And again, no information on the base, but these cars roll exceptionally well because they've got these thin little profile lines on the tires themselves that reduce the friction immensely, not to mention the axles are really, really good. And I, I can't resist. I got one more door to open. Some of the interiors are a little bit more robust than others. Here we have a blocky interior, but still very well detailed and just a beautiful model. I'm not exactly sure what sort of Mercedes that is. Let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, here we have a four-door Mercedes. The two front doors do open. Got the chrome inset grille, red plastic taillights, full suspension, a realistic paint job. This one actually tells you, so it's an older model made in Hong Kong. A 450 SEL, number, collection number 1061. So cool. Got a lot of these cars in my collection. But that is one of the better condition ones, I think. Oh, wait. I have a minty one over here. But this is a newer one that does not have the doors opening. And although the base is the same, the doors don't open. So there you go. Variations all over the place. And this is why I was wanting to pull out all my uh, Yatming cars. Oh, wow. It's quite it's quite a bit different. It has a hitch. It doesn't have the red taillights. It's got a chrome plastic bumper. So some big differences uh, from time to time with these cars, even though generally speaking, they were the same car. Wow, it's actually completely different casting. Are these not these not the same car? They're both 450 SELs. So there you go. It's quite a change, even in the Yatming sort of molding. They've completely changed the dimensions of the car. I don't know if it's the scale or just the dimensions and proportions, I should say, not dimensions. So, well, both would be accurate, I suppose. Uh, here's one that's in a different color. Anyways, we're looking at what uh, Peter has sent me. Now, this is a car that I really wanted in my collection for a long time. Uh, Pontiac, Firebird, Trans Am, opening doors. Quite fragile when you look at the metal that connects the portions of this car body together. Without those doors, it is very fragile. And um, the one I have from my childhood is absolutely smashed. So it's so nice to have that one. Uh, as well, I think, uh, where is it? I'm, I'm searching for that car because there's a story that goes behind it as well. Yes, there it is. There it is. Look at this. This is from my childhood. I don't even know where I got this car. I didn't do this damage to it. Somehow I got it in trade from a neighborhood kid. And uh, now here we finally have it in great condition. So that's really nice. And then the other story I have is the... Porsche 944. I'm just jumping down a row here to look at this one. Always wanted this car in really nice condition. And uh, again, I had a, a car from my childhood that really needed replacement. And here it is. Like, what happened? <laughs> just war torn, I would say. So, so nice to have a nice, like, very nice condition car to fill that portion of the collection. I apologize for the way the camera is hunting in and out. I just, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here to make that such a problem, but just trying to get through this uh, collection without slowing down too much and a lot of in and out with the focus range, I suppose, might be part of it. Uh, burning fire on this car. What is this? It does not say, and I am drawing a blank on what kind of car this is. I love the little side pipes, and uh, certainly this was on my list of cars I wanted as a kid. Where is it? 
Uh, well, maybe it has a different paint job. I don't know. I thought for sure this one was uh, on there. Maybe it is just different paint job. Anyways, we're not going to spend too long looking at that. Lots of different um, paint jobs available too. Here's another one from my collection. Got the Muscle USA. And uh, here we can see a difference in the chassis. Same car. Plastic base. 1056 is the collect number. 1057 on the metal one. Completely different base, uh, different car, I think. Different car? Different car. Never mind, they look the same. From afar, but no, they are not the same car. <laughs> Here we go with a rhyme. And now, the Chevy uh, Chevette, I think. Is that what this is? Chevy Chevette? Very cool. Absolutely love this car. And uh, here's a nice minty one that I got a while back. It's actually not mint, but it's in really good shape. So I've got two different wheel variations here, though. As you can see, you've got the older Yatming wheels here and the newer Yatming wheels on the ones in better condition. And actually, here's a paint variation. This is the first one I ever got. I think I was in uh, Georgia or Virginia when I got this. I have no idea. I was at a grocery store. Rose Club racing car. Kind of funny. And on top of that, I have this one, which has another paint job change. It's a little bit rougher, missing a wheel. Really neat little cars. Love them. Absolutely love them. Ten minutes in, we've only gone through one tray, and we've got uh, five more to go. Got to hurry up here. Squire Wagon. Pretty cool. The Ford Squire Wagon. All right, moving along. A little flying 36 engine. Not sure what kind of car that is exactly. Uh, looks like, mm, could be, what is that, Supra? I don't know. Got the Jaguar XJ6. What does it say on it? Man and Machine. Very interesting. There's just so many paint jobs on these cars. Made in China. Stretching over a whole bunch of cases here to get these cars. We've got the little BMW Rally 320, it says on the roof. Does not... Oh, made in Thailand. Manufacturing was just all over the place with these cars. I'm going to stop grabbing at cars that I already have in my collection because we're just going to slow down too much. Look at this one. I don't think I have any of this car in my collection. Uh, another BMW. I think it's an 850. Not 100% sure. 1980s 850, I would say. So cool, though. Wow. I really want to get these on the display wall. I think they would look really cool to get them displayed. Even the play-worn ones like this. These Jeeps, I mean, the metal was actually really high quality back then. For it to be able to bend that far without actually fracturing is pretty amazing. And that horse tampo was seen on a wide variety of Jeeps of the era. Here it is on another Jeep I own, opening hood. Um, and another Jeep I own. We said we weren't going to do this. The blue, the opening hood. Golden Eagle, that's the tampo we're going to call that. Silver Eagle on this one. Get the White Eagle on this black Jeep. And of course, they came with a whole bunch of other uh, variations of the Tampo, including this one, which has a sticker on it. So it must be really old. The chrome plastic engine. Got a lot of Jeeps. So we're going to keep moving on. Up here in the far corner, got a little common truck. I forget what kind of truck these are, but they're very common. Different apparatus on the back. We have a little Nissan 300ZX, uh, early, mid-80s. Very cool. Then we got the Rolls-Royce. Opening doors. Phantom. The Phantom Rolls-Royce. Oh, this is a car I was wondering about. I have this one with different wheels on it and no name on the base. It truly is a Yatman car. Hmm. Yeah. A little Audi Quattro, I guess, of some kind. I'm not really sure. 80s Audi. Very cool car. 
Looks like a Citroen now. Got a little Citroen International it has on the uh, Tampo. Definitely got some playwear. Uh, X or CX2200. Really nice patina on this one. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at the little tail lights. Back wheels are a little bit jammed up there. Here's a common Yatman casting. It's the Ford Mustang. Um, I believe it's put in like a 1971 or so. Boss Mustang. Very common. Here's another old Mustang. This one is probably the same model as one of my very first Mustangs as a kid growing up. Little 65 Mustang I found in the schoolyard. Put together with popsicle sticks. 66, sorry. But even with all the play wear, it still has the front pillars, which is very hard to come by on these cars. Oh, it's missing the grill and the back bumper. Good thing I got a parts vehicle somewhere in here. Here's the first one that I had as a child. Found in a school playground. Um, Still has the grill. Does not have the back bumper, interestingly. Hmm. Mine's put together with popsicle sticks, thanks to my dad. And all these years later, I've still got the same popsicle sticks holding the car together. Well, it's mostly complete. Just put that aside. Fixed up later. Anyways, really cool. And I think I've got another one in here too. Yeah, there's another one. This one's a little better condition, I guess. The wheels are all screwed up though in the front. It does have the bumper though. It's a little cockeyed, but whatever. So between the three, you've got some good models here. Um, the next car that we're going to shift over to... Uh, yep, another Ford, Mercury Cougar, perhaps, metal base, quite light, though, another Mercedes, no opening doors on this one, it's got a trailer hitch, which is absolutely enormous, a 350 SEL, and here is the other car that reminds me of my youth, uh, one of the first Yapman cars I ever got, I was getting tubes put in my ears at the hospital at about the age of four, and I ended up finding one of these in the play bin on the children's floor. I ended up playing with it. And I still have it to this day. It's not the original color anymore. It's been stripped and repainted numerous times. This one has a black base. It's the 66 Malibu Street Rat. And uh, I'm just going to hold that out for a second because I've got a couple of these. I really enjoy this casting. Uh, it's come out in several different shades of yellow. And apparently different bases as well, as you can see. But... All sorts of different bases. So, so many cool variations of these cars over the years. Uh, probably would be extremely difficult to collect variations of these cars, just given how many there might be and how probably poorly recorded they are. Here's another one of those Flying Eagle Jeeps. This one is the Super Jeep. Very cool. Okay, we've got the Celica. Celica. And it is in green. Super Celica, it says on the base. I suppose that's the same car that I was unable to identify earlier, potentially. Yep, that is the same car. So now I know, because this is a pretty common car. Got it in green. Here we have one of those uh, Mercedes castings that's a bit shorter than the metal base one, 450. Big old Lincoln. Very cool. That one's definitely on the list of cars I wanted as a kid. Let's go and see if we can zoom in on that one. Where the heck was it? There it is, way up at the top corner. Finally entered my collection in my nearly 40th year. Isn't that something? Lincoln Continental Mark II, it says. I'm not sure that's quite right. Mark IV on the base. And uh, what's this one? Dodge, Dodge something. Does uh, Monaco? It's a Dodge Monaco. Very nice condition Dodge Monaco. I have to say that is beautiful. It's the best condition Dodge Monaco I have from Yatming. Um, here's a more common paint scheme for that car. It's got a little bit of damage. Nothing crazy. Maybe it just needs a little bit of a cleaning. And we've got a little, um, wow, that's a weird looking little Corvette. I've seen the Corvette model done before by Yatming numerous times over. This is typically what it looks like, a much nicer casting, I have to say. Open doors. 
don't know what really happened to this one. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, casting 1002 Chevrolet Racer. So it's a different Chevrolet. And then we've got this really nice 80s um, Corvette. Looks like the window's a little bit pushed down in it, but really nice. 84 Corvette. It's actually the same proportions and scale as the Hot Wheels 80s Corvette. Got a few more of those Jeeps. Oh, look at that. Similar. Without stickers, we have the Tampo version of this Jeep. Very cool. Love these Jeeps. So many Jeeps. And this one is a paint job I've never seen before. The yellow with black Tampo stripes on it. And then we've got another one of these Lincoln Mark twos, but actually Lincoln Mark four. Just a bit different. Well, maybe it's just missing its tampos. It's hard to say for sure. Here's an odd one. Looks a lot like a Corgi Whiz Wheels, but then a lot of companies made these, including Matchbox, whatever kind of car this is. A Lamborghini Marzal. I guess it was kind of a popular car, an interesting car of the time. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, we got another one of these little Porsches. Two, not one, but two Porsche 944s to replace my childhood destroyed version. One with darker blue tint windows than the other. And orange in the tampo versus yellow. I talk like these things are Hot Wheels, but essentially there's just so many variations. It's quite cool. Another little Chevy Love. LUV. Flare side or step side pickup truck. Doesn't actually say what it is. This one says Chevy. This is a bit different. It's a square body Chevy. Often these had drop tailgates. Here we have a matching red one. Isn't that cool? Let's get both those side by side. Very cool. And then the Volkswagen Beetle. That's a nice condition Volkswagen Beetle for Yatming. Volkswagen, it says. Oh, and here we have a little police version of probably a Datsun truck or a nissan truck oh this is a play art mazda pickup so i did allude to the fact that we would have some play art in this collection play art was made from 1983 until about 1990 i think here's another chevy chevy pickup lots of chevy pickups and so many different colors i've never seen so many different colors of these little chevy pickups here's one of those uh, chevy square bodies with the tailgate but it's missing Got a lot of these in my collection. Nice heavy duty little truck. Chevy Stepside, they call it. We've got an assortment of uh, race cars here. These are always kind of hard to identify for me anyways. This one's missing some wheels. Vertical. That ah, doesn't really matter. Then we got the McLaren Ford. Kind of neat. So, oh, they're hard to get out of here. They're like so low profile, they're jammed in there. Nice condition though, and you've got a little driver in there. These weird racing wheels, they only ever put these on. Holy smokes, the focus is just brutal today. They only have ever put those wheels on the race cars, I've noticed. There they are again. Auto art, whoa. I wonder what auto art has to say about that. Or maybe, yeah, me. And this one says Embassy on it. Very interesting. I know nothing about these types of cars. Just got a pile of them growing down here. So we've looked at uh, 50 cars already. Just an absolute ton of cars. So we're going to shift our attention over to the 24 car case. And what do we have in here? Well, I think we have a mixture of Road Champs, Yamming, and Play Art. Got the Delightful Van. Delightful, it says. Isn't that nice? Isn't that delightful? It's got Yatming wheels and a Yatming base. I've seen this van without Yatming because I already have it somewhere in my collection. Um, oh, there it is, as I say. Oh, no, it says Yatming as well. Hmm, okay. Pretty sure these castings often go without uh, a name on the base. So here we have it in orange, another delightful van. Delightful. A yellow delightful van. I don't know what kind of van it is. It doesn't look like any van I know of. It's probably totally fictitious. Sort of standard general van. And then we've got this van. It looks like a Ford van, potentially. 
um, it comes out in a lot of different um, liveries and paint jobs. I'm not going to bother picking them all out because here's my former collection of like somewhat good condition vans, and I've got a whole bunch more that aren't like in great condition. So we're not going to look at all the vans just at right now. We're not going to get through the rest of this box. The uh, Chevrolet Z28 Camaro, really cool. Love this casting, very heavy. And that's by Yatming. And then we've got this weird little, whoa, little weird play art car, I think. Alfa Romeo P33, very cool. That is a super cool little car. Is this the Vulcan van? No, it's the Apache van. Wow, that's pretty neat. Got some Native American headdress and some teepees and totem pole. Very cool. Little BMW uh, play art car, definitely. Very iconic little BMW. Wheels are way overkill in size. Uh, a 2002, but such a cool little casting. And here we have a little Mercedes by play art. A 350 SEL. We had one of those in Yapming too a little while back. Hmm. And a little Chevy Chevette. This one has the plastic base. Uh, it tells me it probably doesn't have a name on the bottom. No, it does not. But it's made in Hong Kong. And it's the same casting almost as the uh, Yatming casting. So, same car. And underneath that, we've got a little play-worn something or other. I don't know what it is. Missing the windows. A Porsche. Don't know who makes that. Ooh, here we go. A Mercedes. That's the one with the big hitch. We saw that earlier. The Yatling Mercedes. Unnamed Mercedes. Now 350 SL. So you can do a direct comparison between competitors, Play Art and Yatming. Play Art car is a bit bigger for sure. Obviously not the same castings by any means. We've got a little Yatming. Uh, what is this? I don't know. It looks like a Jaguar at first sight, but I don't think it is. A Toyota 2000 GT. Of course it's not a Jaguar. And the, here's a really nice looking little car. This could be a Camaro, maybe a 67. Missing some wheels. Who makes that? Play art. Camaro SS. An odd looking truck. Play art. Mustang, got lots of these little fox body Mustangs from Yatming. They got transparent red taillights, really cool. And I have a lot of these as well. The 1980 Pontiac uh, Trans Am or Firebird, very cool. Where'd that other car go? Okay, so up at the top, we're starting to reach again. We're going to start working our way down. We've got a tractor, very interesting detailed tractor by Yatming. Never seen one of those before. I assume this might be a little Yatming trailer of some kind. Yes, it is. And this looks like a little play art. Maybe a Ford Thunderbird. Oh, the hood is like glued shut. I'm not really sure why. Thunderbird. And another really interesting car, probably by play art. Oh, it's a Yatming Chevrolet. What? What on earth kind of Chevrolet is that? I have no idea. Please do tell me in the comments if you know what kind of car that is. And what do we have here? This is another car I do not recognize. Player BMW Spickup? A Spickup. Never heard of that thing. What? Some sort of amphibian vehicles. Play art for sure. Still has a windshield. That's really hard to find. And the side tampos and livery. A swim a swim wagon a swim wagon, very cool. A little play art ambulance, very common as far as play art models go. And so is the Volkswagen, by the way, but so many different paint jobs. Play art Volkswagen, another play art Volkswagen. Different chassis or wheels. I'm not really sure what's going on. Plastic chassis on one, metal on the other. A little, uh, ooh, this looks like a play art version of a Yatming car. It is. Wow. What? So, I mean, back in the day, there was just, like, currently, there's a lot of uh, copying of popular or interesting cars. 
And maybe it was easier to get uh, a casting out that had already been produced elsewhere. I don't know. Maybe they were produced at the same time, direct competition. Who the heck knows? There's so many cars out there, you think there'd be enough for everyone to make something different. But clearly not. Another little play art fire department car. Uh, Ford Country Squire, I should say. Got a few left to look at before we do the giant overview of everything that we've just looked at today. A Mako Shark. I have no idea what that is. Looks like a Corvette. And look at this weird little pumper truck. Play art. Fire engine. Very odd. It's been chewed extensively by something. Some sort of animal. Uh, a little logging truck. There's that kind of generic looking truck. And then this is what I'm most familiar with. Is these weird looking like late 60s style future looking trucks made by play art i've got tons of these things most of them have like a smashed or scratched or cracked front window because it's like so prominent on the casting a little tanker truck i don't know i have no idea what it is or anything about it and now to finish off the video we're going to take an overview just of all of the different yatming vehicles i have out today so uh, without going into everything in detail we've basically finished looking at everything that peter sent me here is a really nice assortment of Yatming cars. As you can see, some familiar castings in there. Different paint jobs. These 48 car cases hold them well. Here we have a tray full of Corvettes. Another really nice cars. What is that pink one? I really want to see that pink one. Very cool. Looks like a Lamborghini. Maserati. A Maserati Bora. Wow. And then we've got these cars down here. The Boom cars, the Supras, 300ZX, Audi, a bunch of 280s, a Chevy Love. A whole bunch more Chevy Loves in mint condition. So we've got uh, a few there. We've got some a couple Minties now. We've got a white and orange. The Chevy Stepsides, a bunch of Porsche 928s. Really neat. And, uh, well, let's move on over here. We've got Jeeps. And this is definitely one of my favorite castings. The Chevy Blazer opening doors. So many different cool paint jobs. Such a heavy-duty truck. Where did I get all these? I know I bought a lot of them on eBay over the years. Got a lot as presents as well from the boys down in Australia. And uh, just... Flea market finds, vans. Those are all the vans. I just pick them up wherever I see them because the Yatming is really interesting. Race cars, these off brand, sort of no name cars that resemble Yatming, similar wheels. Down there, we've got some more, more Eagle Jeeps, Corvettes, 300ZX. Okay, and oh, reaching far. There's the Malibu case. Got the Street Rats. Some Rolls Royce. What is this one? A Chevy uh, Impala, I think. Yeah. Just beautiful. Got a few of those. Some variations. Uh, Camaros. Look at all the Camaros and Firebirds. Absolutely beautiful collection. So I sort my uh, Yapping by condition and type of vehicle. Mint vehicles go into one case, less than mint in another, and just smash out in another case. But check them all out. Look at all these beautiful cars. There's a whole bunch of those Mercedes 450s. Interesting Cadillac Seville. Just putting things back so I can make room to see everything else I want to show you guys today in this video. Uh, did we look at all this? I don't think so. Chevy Chevettes, Mazda RX-7, more Camaros and uh, Mark IVs for Thunderbirds. Yeah, we did look at that one. Did we look at this one? Yep, that was the Corvettes. Okay. Moving right along then. Um, got trucks. Lots of trucks. These are those kind of ambiguous trucks. They kind of look like a Ford of some kind. You got every different type of attachment on them and you got some wagons and some bigger uh cab overs as well more trucks some beat up rolls royces down there 
Is that right? Is that plural for Rolls Royces? Then we're getting a little more beat up. We got the uh, Jeeps and the other cars that are a little bit more just kind of shelled out. Good cars, though. Nice condition overall. Some vans. This weird little Yatming trailer. I think that was another random act of kindness gift. Some more vans, some more Jeeps. Look at all the Jeeps down there. Wow. Uh, whoa. This is a mess. We've got so many cars in here. That's a neat one. What is that? Yeah, that's really cool. Sylvia, Nissan Sylvia 2000. Just smashed in there with a Mazda RX-7. A whole bunch of Corvettes. There's another one of those boom cars. Actually, two. The Chevy Citation. And if you lift this out, just pure destruction. So many cars. Trans Ams, Jaguars, Firebirds. Lamborghini, Camaro. It's a lot of cars in there. And then we've got another similar situation with the more wrecked cars as well in here. So the ones that are not minty. Got a little bit of room down here. More Mustang. Gotta find, put that one back. And that is uh, Yatming. Truly one of my favorite brands. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, Peter, thank you very much. Super appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next.